Welcome to r slash pro revenge stories. r slash pro revenge stories are reddit stories where pros at something take revenge on people that genuinely deserve it. This story was written by Little Bunny Roar and is about a rather entitled mother getting, well, her life ruined. Please remember, I have a Teespring account, link down in the description, and so is my Patreon. Would be really nice if you could support me. Also, if you have any questions for me, or sentences you would like me to say, leave them down in the comments below. Enjoy the show. So, a little backstory. I have a very good relationship with my mom, so I FaceTime and text with her regularly. Though I have never called her because there's no point to do this. My mom and manager are also very good friends and knows when I'm there. I'm always showing my location with her as she worries about me. Here's the cast. Entitled mom, entitled boy, sweet girl, my mom, me, and Bolt, my service doc. So let's begin. This happened a few hours after my shift ends and I'm still sitting in my normal spot in the McDonald's. Bald is laying down, sound asleep on the other bench. I had taken her vest off so she could play with some kids that were in here earlier, and just let her sleep as she looks tired when she returned to me. I was just sitting there, barely anyone else in the store, drawing on the tablet part of my laptop, making a drawing in my sketchbook more solid. Until Entitled Mom, Entitled Brat, and Sweet Girl walk into the store. I overhear the Sweet Girl, looks around 6 to 7, and Entitled Brat, looks to be a teenager, arguing about something. It sounds like he is making fun of the girl's dress. Which I thought was unfair. Her dress was actually really cute. But Entitled Mom sides with the boy and agrees the dress is gross and says, I don't know why your father bought you that hideous dress. The girl is visibly hurt by this and walks away from them. This is when she walks over to me. She sees Bolt and my drawing on my tablet. Then she walks up next to me and looks at my drawing. That's a cool robot, and your dog is so cute. What did its name? I look at her and go to sign to her, as it is a habit not thinking she will probably not know sign. She doesn't and gives me a weird look. Thinking fast, I turn to my sketchbook to a blank page near the back and write, I'm sorry, sweetie. I cannot speak. I'm mute. I use a thing called sign language to talk. Thank you. I like it too. Her name is Bolt. You can pet her if you like. After a few seconds of her reading what I said, she looks at me. That is so cool. She's so cute. She then goes and pets Bolt, who does not move as she is sound asleep. I just smile and get back to what I was doing for a few seconds before... Snatch. My sketchbook is grabbed and taken off my table by... Entitled Brat. Your drawing sucks. Why do you even do it? I look at him shocked and confused by the way he grabbed my sketchbook not even registering the fact he insulted my drawings. I take back my book, ripping the drawing I was just working on. Her drawings are not stupid, they're cool. They're not. Anyone can draw better than her. Now, realizing he was insulting my work, I get the maddest I got during this whole encounter. Standing up, which in itself is very intimidating, but I'm wearing a tight red tank top this day and it shows a little bit of my muscle. I have a six-pack and a little on the buff side, which is not intimidating if you are an adult, but if you're around my size, it is. This kid was taller, yes, but not enough to easily overpower me. He sees this and, like a lot of kids, runs off and I sit back down, smiling at sweet girl, who smiles back, probably never seeing anyone stand up to her brother, but no, we are nowhere near done with this. Moments later, he's back with Entitled Mother. What the hell did you do to my son, kid? Stop petting that dirty mutt! But ma... She was cut off. I asked you a question, brat! 
answer me. Mom, she's... Cut off again. You're scared now, kid, that I have an adult with me. Answer me. Mom, she threatened to beat me if I didn't give her money. She's probably homeless. All of this, I never get a chance to think or even try to sign her, but finally, sweet girl gets a word in. Mom, she can't talk, she's mute. I look at her thankful, but this does nothing to calm her down. Don't you dare raise your voice at me. That's complete nonsense. Of course she can speak. She's just a homeless little whore. She probably just said that to get you on her side. At this point, I'm actually freaking out, as I don't know what to do. I don't want to reach for my book or tablet, as I'm afraid she will attack me. I really don't think signing to her would work, and probably only make her mad. All the while, sweet girl looks at me with embarrassment and shame. God damn it! say something! Stop it with this mute bullshit! At this moment, she must have noticed my phone laying on the table. She grabbed it and I get scared. I think she is going to steal it. But she simply says, Let me see what your parents think about you threatening kids and walking around like a... like a slut! I was wearing a red tank top. That showed very light cleavage. Less than she was showing. Black jeans. Sure, they had me and paint all over them. And uh, one of those hoodie jean jackets. And she opens my phone. I don't have a password on it because it's a very old iPhone 4. As I don't really need a phone for much, I don't really use it much as well, except to listen to music. She goes to my contacts and calls my mom. She answers in seconds, as the only time she gets a call from my phone, it's a really huge emergency. She had to put it on speaker to embarrass me. At this exact moment, the entitled Brit asked, Mom, can I take a laptop? Uh, who is this? Is something wrong with my daughter? Entitled mother seems a little shocked that she immediately knows it is not me, but starts with a very smug tone. Yes, miss, I have her right here, and she's being extremely rude to me and my children. She is cut off by my mom. I extremely doubt that, miss. She's mute and has never been rude in her life. Now please return her property, or I will call the cops. Looking more enraged now. How dare you! Your teenage daughter is walking around like a slut with some stray. She even stole my son's laptop. Miss, I do not like you talking about my daughter and her service dog like that. I know for a fact she does not have a violent bone in her body and would never steal anything. Give her back her laptop, her phone, and whatever else you stole, or I will personally make sure you are arrested for theft, along with harassing a disabled person. Also, I will make it my goal in life to make sure you get as much time as possible for it. My mom is the county's district attorney. Now stop harassing my daughter and return her property before I get angry. Entitled mom is stunned at this and goes to respond, probably to not look bad in front of her kids. How dare you speak to me this way? My husband will have you and your daughter in jail by... My mom cuts her off again. My mom does not take any shit. Ma'am, I am the district attorney of this country. I know any cop that you would know. It is my job to make sure criminals, like you, get the book thrown at them. Now I will ask you one last time, before I personally come down there, and make sure you are arrested and your kids are taken by CPS. Give my daughter's property back. She says all of this in the very cold, very serious and... Very scary tone me and my sister know from our childhoods, which also probably gives murderers nightmares. Entitled mom just stands there frozen. I thought it was over. I was wrong. Entitled mother seems to get some courage back. Fine, if you want to be like that, you can defend your ho- My mom hangs up. And within minutes, there are four police cars there. 
my manager is with me in my booth with all of my stuff safely back in my back. Bold leashed to the table so she doesn't run off to play with her police friends. And the entitled mom is being loaded in the back of one of the cops' cars, cussing like a sailor. The kids waiting with the police officers for their dad to come to get them. I'm giving a statement to one of the officers that knows how to sign. Also Sweet Girl has one of my older drawings of a unicorn and flowers. Also Sweet Girl said my outfit was cool. My mom was there about 20 minutes later and drives me home after she deals with the police and the kid's father, who really was a police officer. He apologized a lot for his wife. They apparently were going through a really messy divorce and fighting for custody for the kids. Apparently she is abusive towards Sweet Girl. My mom later told me the whole time during the trial of the mom she was trying to get her fired and accused her of making stories up about her. But it came out that the house she was staying at with her new boyfriend, where her kids stayed as well, was cooking meth in the basement. She was charged with child endangerment, drug trafficking, theft, attempted theft, and child abuse. No, I don't know how long she got.